It's live on KEXP. I'm your host, Eva Walker, from listener-powered, independent, 90.3 FM, KEXP, broadcasting live in Seattle and streaming worldwide at kexp.org and on the mobile app. KEXP is a nonprofit, and these live performances are made possible by donations from people like you. You can donate today by visiting kexp.org slash live. And I'm so excited because I am in the live room with some local legends here of the northwest and this is slang here on live on kexp do you guys want to play uh some music four songs then we can talk we'd love yeah. to let's do it okay y'all ready yeah ready.
You're listening to Slang on 90.3 FM, live on KEXP. I don't want to have, have to start, start again After it died again I'm rubbing two sticks together again to start again There is a rock in my chest I'm an evaporated boy A loose rope again I have dreams about Sugar water sucker Ancient creature Clicker of the bone Bored and alone I guess I'll push it again I have dreams about Point three KEXP, you're listening to the music of slang.
Jesus. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> wow. Slang. <laughs> Here on KEXP, I don't know what else to say, but yeah, uh, out of Portland, Oregon. Uh, wow, thanks for being here. You all have Drew, Janet, Kathy, and Anita all here. And um, I got to just calm down for a second before I ask the first question. Blech. I couldn't keep still for either of those songs. Uh, so slang started with you, Janet, and you, Drew. And Janet, you said, uh, I did my research, I saw an interview, <laughs> and uh, you said that it was a collision of our musical tastes uh, that showed promise, and you eventually started writing songs together, you and Drew. And uh, what are you and Drew's musical tastes specifically uh, that made you believe this project would work? Well, I think it's... It's more our like mutual appreciation of music that kind of grabs you and grabs hold and kind of shakes you <laughs> to the core. And I think we, uh, we feel like this band has that potential to kind of get inside a person and give them strength and hope and, uh, you know, just a just a joie de vivre, <laughs> you know, I mean, things are, you know, things get really hard and I feel like music is our saving, saving grace. So we, you know, we have that kind of mutual, I think all of us kind of look to music to kind of lift us up. Yeah. Yeah. Drew, do you want to add on to that? Um, you don't have to. <laughs> I mean, I would just, no, I would just say, I mean, I think that just us meeting in general and then working together musically has like been very like uh, it's been very balancing for me it's been very much like meeting someone who is my other like uh, kind of like force I always say it's like she's like such a force and uh, like when we met then that was just sort of this is what we wanted to do with the music you know I, um and uh and kind of join forces in that way so yes yes to everything that Janet said as well that's very important to us too. So and that's yeah. how the slang songs made me feel because they had recorded them pretty much, pretty much all of them before they put the band together with me and Anita. So when they sent us the recordings, I was like, oh my God, these songs are amazing. Yeah. Yeah. God, I love watching you play bass. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, Jesus. So do I. <laughs> <laughs> we all just. <laughs> um, so the first song I heard from Slang was Wilder. So usually when we put our, all the DJs put their shows together differently. And usually I screen everything, you know, to hear it. Uh, I got sent this song and I don't even think I listened to it yet. I think I saw the, the lineup and I was like, oh yeah, well I'm going to play it. <laughs> and then I played it on the air and was like, wow, 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 what a great wrist that was. Uh, Drew, I love hearing you sing that song, Wilder. Can you tell me what that song's about? Yeah, I think that um, the, it's it was the kind of the it was the first track that when we were working together kind of led off, and then it led to everything that the record was going to become, which is which is about kind of about getting to the end of yourself and um, and having nothing and then starting again um, and in lots of different ways. And we've done it as a it, this song was written before the pandemic and and other things as well. Um, but we the the reverberations, you know, of all the meaning on a song keep echoing for me, and it's um, you know, it's like all the different things about survival, you know. I kind of like get stripped it down to its most primal, you know. And um, when we were when I was singing it, like when I first wrote it, I was kind of singing it a little gentler or something, and <clears throat> Janet heard it and she was like, kind of like. I think it should be more kind of primal. I think it should be more. And as I was singing really primal, I got to this other whole meaning and then the lyrics, lyrics came out of that and stuff. So it's this, this has been a, such an awesome collaboration um, in the writing process with Janet and then with them, Anita and Kathy, then that's just is added on top as well. But that's where it kind of came from. All right. Woo. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't help it. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, God, I've been waiting to do that since you stopped singing that song. It's contagious. <laughs> it, it's so is. I find myself doing it too. <laughs> um, that's how I'm going to end all my conversations now. Um, speaking of collaboration, good segue into my next question. Drew, you said um, when asked how slang differs from your other projects, that this is the most intensely, quote, intensely collaborative. Collaborative experience you've undertaken so far 
Can you explain that a little bit further? Yes. I mean, um, again, when we started, uh, just the two of us and um, Kathy and Anita hadn't agreed to play with us yet because we were still figuring out what the songs were and everything. Um, it was like I'd written a lot on my own or sort of um, w written a lot of the songs by myself in the, in the past with other musicians and they would add their parts in, which added a lot to everything. But this was very different. This was a lot of like... Um, we were being very direct and honest and, and, uh, and it, it really pushed me in a way that I hadn't been pushed before to really, I, th I think it pushed me to get to like more truths and not allow myself to just kind of do what I could sing or what, whatever. And so this has just been so awesome. And then like, um, I think too, just Janet, you could speak to this, but like just having a, like getting in there and doing a lot like the deconstructing and, and all of that. So like I would come in and kind of have some kind of mock up of what I kind of think the song should do. And then she would get in there and just bring bulldozers and whatever, and you know, whatever, and dump half, I would come, I would come home and it would be like in a different key and like whatever, <laughs> um, which is like the most just big, <laughs> wide sweeping sort of collaborative thing. But it was built out of the scenario. We had the studio there at our home and we could do that kind of thing. And, you know, and she's really wired to, to want to hear what she wants to hear and go for it. And that was so like enriching and uh, it really enlivened like my whole process too. It was incredible. So that's that. Yeah. Great. Thank you. <laughs> Me and my bulldozers. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I mean, yeah. I mean, sonically speaking. <laughs> and I'd love to hear from all four of you on this uh for this answer, but of course, no one's forced to speak if they don't want to. <laughs> and this question, this last question is, what do you all enjoy most about this particular project? Because you all play or have played in a lot of different projects. What do you enjoy uh, most about this particular project and, and playing together in general? I love singing all together. I love our harmonies, um, especially with Janet and Anita. And, uh, yeah, it just feels so good. It always feels good to just good in your soul when you like sing in a group, like really loud and just go for it. And it's just super creative. Um, like I said, they had recorded these songs, most of the songs before we, before I joined the band and Sam Coombs played a lot of the bass lines on the recordings from Quasi. Um, and I just love his bass line. So it kind of help me be more creative because, you know, he write, writes in a different way than I would write. And so it kind of taught me a different style. Um, and so it's kind of an informing going forward to like how I write, I'm writing like new stuff that we're working on. So it's just like super exciting, creative and fun. Nice. I, I also want to reiterate uh, about just the voice. And I think we intentionally included a lot of singing, like just a lot of group vocal. And um, when Kathy and Anita showed up and we could, we could bring that to life, like it just didn't exist in the world for real until these guys showed up and we started singing together. And I feel like it's, it's just one of the most powerful feelings, empowering and powerful. Um, and it's really a joy to sing with these guys. Um, gals and guys and, and Drew kind of leading the way with his really strong and confident uh, voice, I think helped me to be more confident in my singing and helped me to uh, express myself in that way and be uh, more unafraid of like singing loud and singing out and just closing my eyes and, you know, putting my head back and just letting it all kind of come out. Um, but I, I think I enjoyed that. I mean, I enjoy the, I enjoy the how great these guys can play and um, how wonderful the, the emotion and the energy is, um, what great people they all are and fun to be around. And it just makes me so hopeful for the future uh, of, our, of us together. And, um, you know, that's, I think hope is, is so important. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> right? Yeah. I want to go next. <laughs> <laughs> go for it, Anita. I am the quietest one in the band, I think. <laughs> Not with my guitar. Not with no. my guitar, that's right. <laughs> um, 
I, I, I have known these guys for a long time, and we've played shows together, you know, in our different bands. Uh, and I always felt uh, respect and admiration and a sense of camaraderie, you know, with all three of those guys. And uh, so, and I love the tunes. I love the spirit. Uh, and I, I love the years of experience. You, you can sense that and it's, uh, certain things don't need to be said and, um, it, it makes it, uh, thrilling, you know, to sort of collaborate and flesh out songs and get ready for, uh, live shows. Uh, it's just, it's a really good chemistry and energy and, uh, I'm loving it. I'm really enjoying it a lot. So hey. thanks you guys for letting me play. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> thanks for letting me be in your band. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, we, I just feel really thankful that, that I can play music with these, um, with these people. It's so incredible. I think there's like a weird sort of fortune cosmic piece of it where it was like all of us had been in other bands, but in the, at the moment had some, spare room and schedule and creative mind and whatever to be able to play together um because everybody's still doing lots of different projects their own projects and i really speak i mean that thing like janet said about everybody singing like echo is big for me because it's like i i feel like as a singer like i know how the voice just how it makes me feel to be when you're performing and and uh, um just putting your whole self into it and like when everyone's doing that on stage at the same time it's just like is like incredible and like I'm, I'm just like like blown away I mean everybody here has sung has been a front person or sung the front you know lead in other bands and whatever so like incredible singers and players and so I just feel like there's this cosmic piece I really feel fortunate and thankful and then you know, I know, I know. We're all just really going off here. <laughs> we're laying it on <laughs> thick. We're laying it on we thick. But other. it's, it, I mean, you wonder how, like, I mean, too, it's just like, you know, we're not 22 years old and just sitting around and like, oh, do you want to play in a band? Like we have, there's lots of really important things that um, each person is kind of involved in in their life and uh, big priorities and, and things. And so I just feel like when we come together, I think we have a lot of life experience now to bring. Um, and it's all in this kind of, big deep visceral way and I, I love it oh that's so great wow thanks Thank for having you. us oh my goodness yeah. thank you for coming here you all are based out of portland oregon um thank you for being on kexp i love your band i love your chemistry and i love supporting music of nice people so <laughs> you check all those boxes and uh yes this is live on kexp i'm eva walker this is listener powered independent 90.3 fm kexp and we're broadcasting live in seattle and streaming 24 7 at kxp.org and on the free mobile apps thank you to our video team Jim Carlos Scott and our engineer Julian and Travis on photos and KXP is a nonprofit and these live performances are made possible by donations from people like you and you can donate today by visiting kxp.org slash live and to end this in studio can the five of us just sing all right just at the same time <laughs> okay. just one two, two three all right <laughs> That's it. That's it. Thank it's you, over. Eva. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Eva. Thanks for having us. <laughs> <laughs> Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.